finally arrive in Da Nang after 17 long, long, long hours in the train. We stopped for coffee and tea, but that coffee is, is not good. <laughs> I don't like this coffee, it's very, very strong. And uh, now we have another three kilometers to walk to our hotel. It's only like 10 a.m., I think. So we're gonna have to wait 2 p.m. before we check in. finally moved to the room so we are staying at this uh, hotel called the Ibiza Riverside and we had to pay eight dollars extra to move earlier otherwise we needed to wait uh, 2 p.m. and uh, we wanted to take showers and the shower didn't work so they had to change us uh, room just one second I don't want to get hit by a car they drive like crazy and uh, we wait a little bit in the room, took shower and uh, now we are on our way to find something to eat because we didn't eat anything since yesterday morning as we were in the train and they only had crackers and junk food so we're starving <laughs> find a place to eat and we couldn't find anything and we stopped at one place and the lady asking us for eight dollars for a plate of rice and I know the price in in, uh, in Vietnam I know that is there's no way you will pay eight dollars for, for a plate of rice and we finally find this place this place is very affordable it's 45,000 uh, done for, for a plate of rice with, with eggs so it's about uh, two dollars something this is a photo book and we do not really know what to do in um, in Danang either there is one place we wanted to go is that the bridge with the hand but apparently they charge a lot of money and we met tourists that told us it was not worth it to get there so um, tomorrow we're probably gonna walk to the marble mountain i think it's called it's nine kilometers from our hotel and we're just gonna take a guess and visit. So funny fact guys, we changed room again. So we just came back to the room and we put the key. The key is like a, put the key like this. I don't know if you've seen this before and the lights start blinking and I had to go down there to the reception and they change us room again. So we changed the room three times since we arrived. So it's a little bit annoying. What a night, guys. Yesterday, we almost went into a fight for dinner. And this is the reason why. Yesterday we were walking around our hotel trying to find food. And I don't know if because if we are in the city center or not, but they only serve like a soup with rice noodle. And when you have it once, twice, three times, it's enough and I want to eat something else. So we went to this pub where they serve burgers and they brought us our burgers and the burgers was so small we couldn't even see the meat and the guy still wanted us to pay for it even though we told them we didn't want it to and unfortunately we had to leave without paying for the burger so today we decided that we're gonna start the day by going to the beach so the beach is located 2.5 kilometers from our hotel and once again we didn't come across any restaurants there is a lot a lot a lot of cafe that have coffee and tea but no proper restaurants Toilet 
and there is something I never ever ever seen. They put ice cube where we're supposed to be. So if you know the reason why, I would love to know. <laughs> Just, just arrived to the beach and as lucky as we are it's raining so I really really hope it's not gonna last the whole day otherwise we're not gonna be able to go to the the marble mountain so fingers crossed just found us rain code for 15,000 down so 15,000 down is about 80 cents of dollars but the rain is quite heavy now they are not high quality water Oh, I think I broke it already. Let me... to eat a little snack and then we have another six kilometers before to reach the marble mountain this side of Danong is way better than the river side there's a lot of cafes and restaurants and it's quite beautiful while walking on the seafront we came across this place where they sell crabs and they are massive one kilo only at a three million five hundred thousand down which is about hundred and fifty dollars quite expensive though we wanted to explore Danang so we decided to to walk from our hotel so we did I think around 13 or 14 kilometers so I hope that the marble mountain is worth it is even harder than the other one and the lady at the bottom of the counter told us that it was not steep you lied damn I made it to the top Woo. yeah my dad couldn't make it it's very very narrow and so slippery and look at the view guys The next challenge now is to go back down. This is gonna be tough. guys so i hope that you have enjoyed this little video with us in danang next stop is going to be oi an which is located about uh, 29 kilometers from danang and if you have not subscribed yet do not forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell see you on the next video guys bye bye